welcome back to the Southern Sports Network. I'm Megan Price, here to update you on the latest in all things Moxon Sports News. Today I'm here with men's soccer player Benny Yusufoglu. Hey Benny, thanks hey. for being here today. Of course. So Benny has been on a roll this season, killing it in the goal, right? Um, he's ranked second in the Division II. He is averaging only one goal scored on you every five games. That's amazing. Yeah, You've only good. had two two goals scored on you all season. That's true. Yeah. It's really good. How does it, like, what's the difference? So Benny's from Germany. Um, and what's the difference between, like, German soccer and American soccer? I'm very interested to know. Um, so basically, I mean, it's college soccer. I don't know about the whole thing uh, in the U.S., but college soccer is definitely different than the soccer that I played in Germany um, because it's definitely more physical. Um, players are more athletic. It's uh, a little bit less on the tactical side. It's more on the uh, hitting a long ball and the strongest and fastest players are going to win. Um, but I think we're trying to like play uh, the more European kind of soccer in our team. Yeah. So it's, it's working cool. really well. Yeah. And you are like, I mean, like, I really think you're Superman because you have played every minute of every single game this season. How do you turn around so quickly and continue your energy and continue to be basically a beast on the field all season? I mean, in general, our team energy is, is very high. And um, this is just what I love to do. So it's not really hard to, like, be, be focused on the, the stuff. That, I mean, if you like to do something, and um, you wake up in the morning and that's what you want to do. It's not, it's easy to focus on that. So um, yeah, it's just what I love to do. And yeah. it's easy to focus. And it's obvious that that passion is there every time someone watches you on the field. So what's the difference? You're a sophomore, so you played last season. Um, we did not have an on-campus field last season. So how does it feel to kind of have a field here, a uh, moccasin field? I feel like it might bring some more students out to the game. So what's that atmosphere like? Um, so there's a, a huge difference to, to last year. Last year we were playing in Arbondale, which was like way too far away from <laughs> campus. So basically no one was coming and watch our games. Yeah. And um, now, I don't know, 100, 200 people are coming. And since we're doing that well, the atmosphere is just amazing. So you have people who are cheering you on. You have people who are like celebrating the goals, which is, which creates an atmosphere which is like a lot different mm -hmm. than last year. So really, really, really good, amazing. Yeah. yeah, well, I've been to a couple games this season and the stands are always packed. So tonight you guys are playing Florida Tech. I heard that's going to be a pretty big game for you guys tonight. Uh, yes, um, they're ranked in, in the top 25 as well. So it's going to be a really, really tough game um, for us. I mean, we're all excited. Um, but yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, so. well, we're excited to come watch you. Like I said, guys, Benny has been absolutely killing it this season. He's had 28 saves in nine games. That's an average of three saves per game. So I think that you're a beast and that I'm definitely coming to the game tonight to watch you play. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so thank you again for being um, here with us today, and we're excited to see how the rest of your season goes. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, now we're going to send it to Hayden to update you on the latest in Moccasin Sports. Florida Southern's eSports team won two more Rocket League matches this week. The Mocs picked up a 2-0 victory over the University of South Carolina and defeated Grand Canyon University with the same score. The Mocs had a chance to go 3-0 over the weekend, but fell short to the University of South Carolina 2-1. The volleyball had a huge upset win over the weekend. The Mocs beat number 9 ranked PBA 3-1 at Jenkins Field House and pushed their victory uh, winning streak to 24 straight games. After a scoreless first half from both teams, men's soccer pushed off their seventh straight win of the season. A goal by Foster Apley in the 50th minute of the game gave the Mox a 1-0 win over Tampa. Come and support the team tonight as they take on Florida Tech at 7 p.m. on Moxon Field. The women's soccer team fell short to Tampa Saturday night. After the Spartans scored in the 51st minute, both Chloe Ham and Alexa Moberly scored within minutes pulling ahead. However, the Spartans were able to knock two more in the net, beating the Mox 3-2. Visit fscmox.com to watch the team play Florida Tech tonight in Melbourne at 7 p.m. Both Hannah Fleming and Mason Jones made Florida Southern records in Charlotte, North Carolina. Fleming recorded the fastest 5K time since 2008, and Jones the third fastest time in history. Both teams finished fifth overall in the Queen City Invitational. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the Southern Sports Network. I'm Hayden Gotch, and we will see you next week.